Hey guys, it's Jeff Beasley from True Fire. Welcome to uh, blog post number four. Uh, and it's hot outside, and man, it genuinely is hot outside. Uh, so uh, I guess I picked the right title for my blog. In this fourth installment here, I'm going to kind of do uh, a little bit, a little bit different than, than what we've been focusing on. Uh, kind of focusing on the addendum to some uh, like blue scale things, uh, blue scale licks. Uh, so far we've been focusing on augmented, diminished, 9, 11, 13, etc, etc. Uh, I'm going to go back to augmented and it, it'll, it, this example I'm going to give you today will include some of the things that we did in, uh, I think it was post number two. Uh, a couple things from it, but I'm going to expand on that. And what I'm going to focus on is some really, really outside the box turnarounds, okay? Now, if I'm in A, I'm going to play uh, the old A major, the pentatonic blues scale we've been focusing on. Now, a very common turnaround, uh, there's many of them, but one of the most common ones I, I, I initially learned way back in the day was this one, where it's a 1, uh, major 3rd, 4, flat 5, and then the perfect 5th. Okay, so it gives me the old... Now, uh, and I thought that was the coolest thing in the world when I initially learned it. Uh, I still like it. But uh, uh, I kind of wanted to put my own little twist on that uh, very common blues turnaround. Notice it leads us from 1 to 5. Right? Now, what I did was I took the 1 and I added the 3rd, melodically speaking. I went 1, 3, 1. And I went to the three, which would be the next note in the, the turnaround, and I did a tritone. Okay, so I've got now to the four, I'll do a major third. To the flat five, I'll do another tritone. And then when I get to the five, I'm going to launch into something augmented here in a moment. But so I've got your your typical uh, twelve bar turnaround. Again, coming up here with this uh, augmented arpeggio. Okay, so let me do the whole lick for you slow, uh, and then I'll go back and show you exactly what I did. I went. Okay, so uh, uh, really kind of a outside of the box type of a turnaround there. Now let me do it again for you slowly. Stretching out a bit from that initial augmented arpeggio that we learned, I think, in the second blog to a uh, another one, and resolving back up to the A. So that one stretches you out a little bit more uh, that uh, other version of the augmented arpeggio. And it's a little more challenging, you know, from a technical standpoint, a little bit, but it's really get that outside the box sound and I really enjoy incorporating that uh, into my blues turnarounds, my 12 bar blues turnarounds. Now, let me show you another one. I'll take the same little turnaround and I'll play the first note open, the first A, instead of playing it here on the 6th string at the 5th fret. And I'll use the arpeggio, the initial augmented arpeggio, but I'll stop there. Okay? So I'm going to go 1, major 3rd, perfect 4th, diminished 5th or flat 5th, to the 5th, and I'll launch into the uh, augmented arpeggio, ascending and descending, watch this, walk back down to a minor 3rd on the way out, so watch this. isn't quite as extensive. Now I'll do it in, I'm going to do it in E, but the the uh, it'll still be an augmented arpeggio over the five, 
that the shape is going to change. So far, like the, the first two examples I showed you, the, the augmented chord that we arpeggiated was this one over E, and then this one over E also. So check out those shapes. Okay, now this one I'm going to do in E. What's this, fellas? Same idea. augmented chord shape I'm using there for A is, uh, I'm sorry, for B, because I'm in the key of E, is that, okay? Top note, add a uh, major third above it, descend, typical blues line out, so that gives me get the idea. Now, let me back up to where I initially started, which was here. Now, the way I got the whole idea for that first lick was taking that, you know, that uh, little 12 bar turnaround and adding some melodic ideas to it. But what launched me in that direction was the, uh, a chord progression. I, I tried to take this and play the appropriate chords that would go with that uh, little turnaround. And, and it gave me my one chord, which was an A7. And I went to the third of the of the little lick there of the turnaround, the three, and I went ahead and played an A9, or a C sharp minor seven flat five, or you could also call it an E minor six. But either way, it gives me that third in the bass. So I've got one, and potentially one again as a ninth. And to the four chord as a ninth. To the, to the flat five as a diminished seventh. To the five is either an augmented or a ninth. So I've got a one, one again, inverted. Uh, four, a four chord is a ninth. The flat five is a diminished seventh. And then the five is either an augmented or a ninth. Okay, so that's where I got the idea to do the third tri tone, third tri tone, third again, okay? And that eventually launched me into those uh, extended augmented arpeggios that I'm using for that turnaround. Okay, hope you like that. Uh, most of my students back home love that stuff, so uh, back here at home. So I'm hoping you do too. And uh, thanks for watching my fourth installment here of um, It's Hot Outside. And uh, I'm enjoying uh, doing the blog. I will admit it's a little bit too hot, literally, outside. Uh, hopefully it will cool down soon, uh, but the licks uh, in this blog uh, will not cool down, okay? So now, my next post will be my last blog, the fifth one in, in this particular series, and I'm really going to jump pretty, pretty far outside the box, pretty good ways further than I've jumped so far, okay? So hang in there, uh, get these under your belt, and I will see you next blog. Thank you.